In Word Unit D, we are going to go over formatting our documents. Currently I have this document up, and when you open your document, it will come with the home ribbon up. In order to modify the document margins, you will go to Page Layout, and then you'll choose the drop down from Margins. There are several presets for margin settings. Right now I'm going to show you custom margins. At custom margins, I'm allowed to change the top, the left, the bottom, the right. I can also change the gutter and gutter position. The gutter and gutter position are used for when you publish your document and it's going to go into a bound book. I can change my margin settings either by using the scroll arrows or I can simply type in the margin that I want and I can tab between each setting. Okay, so now I'm going to say OK, and that has changed my margin settings. I can click now on View and select multiple pages, and you'll see how my document is currently looking. Another feature that I can use to modify my document layout Again, I'm going to go to Page Layout. I'm going to put my cursor or my insertion point in front of General Considerations. From this point forward, I want my document separated into two columns. So what I'll do here is I'm going to create a break, and I'm going to select the drop-down, and I want it to be continuous. You can't see from here that I have a section break, but if you want to make sure that you're doing this correctly and you want to see the proofing marks, if you'll go to your home ribbon and select the show hide button, this one here, it will turn your markings on. Don't worry, these markings only show while it's on the screen. It does not show when you are in, you actually print it. Down on your status bar, if you do not see it now saying Section 2, you may need to turn that feature on. Just simply right click on your status bar and select Section. You know it's turned on if it has a check mark in front of it. So now I see here that I have my section break. I'm going to go back to Page Layout and I'm going to change this so that I have two columns for my document. With that, I'll select the drop down at Columns. I have several presets, one, two, three, a left or a right, and that means that the left is the smaller or the right is the smaller column. I'm going to select more columns so that I can manipulate them more. I'm going to select two, and the spacing I have between each column, I actually want it to be 0.3 inches instead of half an inch. I make that selection, and I say OK. You'll notice that it has changed my document now from a single column document into a two column document. And it did that for the entire document, for that section. Since my document is section one, and then my document is also section two. This is how you can modify your sections. And again, if you want to, you can click back on home and turn your show hide marks off so that you can see how it actually looks when it is printed.